In League of Legends, Ryze is a champion whose abilities do more damage depending on the amount of maximum mana he has, along with his ability power. On today's episode of Wall Math, we'll be taking a look at how much damage Ryze will deal depending on which mana boosting items, runes, and masteries he uses. Ryze's Overload ability deals bonus damage equal to 6.5% of Ryze's maximum mana, meaning Ryze needs about 15.4 mana to deal one additional damage with this ability. Ryze's Rune Prison ability deals bonus damage equal to 4.5% of Ryze's maximum mana, meaning Ryze needs about 22.2 mana to deal one additional damage with this ability. Ryze's Spell Flux ability deals bonus damage equal to 1% of Ryze's maximum mana, meaning Ryze needs 100 mana to deal one additional damage with this ability. Finally, Ryze's ultimate ability, Desperate Power, does not scale off of mana, so we will not be taking it into account in the following damage examples. First, let's take a look at Ryze's base mana. Ryze has 250 base mana and gains 55 mana with each level. Many Ryze players will max the Expanded Mind Mastery, which grants an additional 12 mana per level, so we'll take that into account with our examples. With these stats, Ryze enters the game with 317 mana. This will cause Overload to deal an additional 20.6 damage, Rune Prison to deal an additional 14.26 damage, and Spell Flux to deal an additional 3.17 damage with each hit. This also means that with each gained level, Overload will deal an additional 4.35 damage, Rune Prison will deal an additional 3.01 damage, and Spell Flux will deal an additional 0.67 damage with each hit. Finally, at level 18, Overload will deal an additional 94.64 damage, Rune Prison will deal an additional 65.52 damage, and Spell Flux will deal an additional 14.56 damage with each hit. Now, let's look at how beneficial mana runes can be on Rise. The two types of mana boosting runes are Intellect Runes and Knowledge Runes. Intellect Runes grant additional mana at the start of the game, while Knowledge Runes grant additional mana with each level. Intellect Marks grant 5.91 mana. Intellect Seals grant 6.89 mana. Intellect Glyphs grant 11.25 mana and Intellect Quintessences grant 37.5 mana. A full rune page of only Intellect runes will grant an additional 328.95 mana, and have Ryze's abilities deal 21.38, 14.8, and 3.28 extra damage. Knowledge Marks and Seals grant 1.17 mana per level. Knowledge Glyphs grant 1.42 mana per level, and Knowledge Quintessences grant 4.17 mana per level. If Ryze has 9 Marks or Seals of Knowledge, he'll gain an additional 10.53 mana per level, resulting in his abilities doing an additional 0.68, 0.47, and 0.1 damage per level. If Ryze has 9 Glyphs of Knowledge, he'll gain an additional 12.78 mana per level, resulting in his abilities doing an additional 0.83, 0.57, and 0.12 damage per level. If Ryze has 3 Quintessences of Knowledge, he'll gain an additional 12.51 mana per level, resulting in his abilities doing an additional 0.81, 0.56, and 0.12 damage per level. While the extra mana from runes may seem appealing, the end result is very inefficient. Finally, let's take a look at one of the most popular mana boosting items, the Tear of the Goddess, and how it can affect Ryze's damage output. The Tear of the Goddess costs 995 gold and grants 350 maximum mana and 7 mana regeneration on purchase. This alone grants Ryze an additional 22.75 damage on overload, 15.75 damage on Rune Prison, and 3.5 damage on Spell Flux. However, the Tear of the Goddess grants an additional 4 maximum mana with each spell cast 3 seconds apart, up to a maximum of 1000 mana. This means with each spell cast, Ryze will deal 0.26 bonus damage on Overload, 0.18 bonus damage on Rune Prison, and 0.04 damage on Spell Flux. After 250 spell casts, Ryze will deal 65 bonus damage on Overload, 45 bonus damage on Rune Prison, and 10 bonus damage on Spell Flux. In conclusion, it's encouraged that one takes Ryze's mana scaling into account whether they're playing as or against Ryze. The intent of this information was to give one a better grasp of the possible damage output Ryze can reach from his mana scaling. This episode of Lawmath was brought to you by KillSteelGaming.com. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you'd like to be informed whenever I release new videos. If you have any comments, questions, feedback, or ideas for future episodes of Lawmath, feel free to post in the comments section underneath this video. Also, check out the previous Lawmath video by clicking the annotation on the screen. Thanks for watching.